Yo, YouTubers, I'm excited, I'm excited, I want to do another beer review for you. <laughs> okay, uh, I've just finished that, and instead of going straight on to another one of these, right, I'm going on to... Sorry folks, I just got an O2 rewards message on my phone, right. Um, I just finished that drink and I'm not like bevied, I feel quite sound actually, I don't even feel intoxicated, so you know that says a lot for the beer, but it was meant to be 5% anyway. But anyway, because I still feel quite clear headed, and there's a Liverpool match on later, I thought I'll mix the beers and I'll review a couple of others, right, instead of just... Thingy. So without further ado, this one's I'm, I'm excited about this because it says brewed on the Mersey, local. You know what I mean? I'm in Birkenhead. This is from Merseyside, is it really? We'll find out. We'll soon find out, won't we? Hey, all right. Drum roll. I don't think I've never I've found this um, company online or anyone else reviewing it. So another first, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Tap room. Right, tap room. Craft beer. What's that say? It's the writing's in backwards. By the way, the time and the date is me. Um, it's it's uh, nineteen fourteen on the sixteenth of December, twenty twenty. But anyway, there you go. It's called Pitch Rock Pale. From a company called Tap Room. It is Taproom, the company, isn't it? Taproom British Craft Beer Selection. My, micro Brewed Limited Edition Number One. Number One. Limited Edition. So I take it they just do these in short runs, this company. Lovely, sexy black top. Right, and it's like a picture of a kid with a surfboard going to Perch Rock, which is in New Brighton on the Wirral, right? I see it says brewed on the Mersey, session pale ale, right, tap room, in hops we trust. Let's get the info on it, let's get the lowdown. That's why I'm excited, because it's Mersey side. Okay, it says, tap room, British craft beer selection, Perch rock session pale ale. A balanced and refreshing session pale ale with floral and citrus notes. Super drinkable and perfect, perfectly sessionable. Brewed with citra, chinook and eureka hops in small batches at an award-winning microbrewery on the Wirral Peninsula. One of a limited edition range of craft beers brewed exclusively for the taproom craft beer selection. Wow, 4.8%. On the Wheel Peninsula where they live, right? So this is a cool one. This is a, a, a local brew. And it says water, malted barley, wheat, hops, yeast. Unpasteurised and unfiltered. Unpasteurised and unfiltered. So it really is taproom quality, isn't it? Four point eight. Now this was like ninety-nine pence, I think. It's only a smaller can, you know what I mean? There's, Smaller can like right, but you know it looks sexy, it looks good. 99 pence limited edition. Is it really? Is it if it's that good? I'm gonna grab loads of these. Bloody water. I'm sick of these guys doing this, and then you is it have something you're drinking? It's amazing. Okay, let's get it going. From tap room brew. Oh no. Oh, oh, that is very, very mangoey straight away. Very mangoey. Right. Let's get it out of the can and in the glass right away. It's a bit fizzy, a bit lively. Mangoey. Very mangoey. Okay, just throw it in. Oh, it's got. Oh, 
beautiful quality. All right. See, I don't like these small cans because they remind me of buying, you know, like buying cans of lemonade or pop or Coca Cola. They're just tacky, aren't they? But nice design. 4.8%. Right, it's got a kind of light. The yellowy. It is very yellowy. Honey. Honey coloured. Very clear. Full fingered head. I should hide the logo, shouldn't I? Right. Or aroma, hoppy, mangoey. Typical, typical. Ah, oh, smells nice. Oh, oh, from the whittle, from the whittle, hey guys. So that Pearce Rock, it could be. If it's from Pearce Rock, it could be um, Morton. I don't know. Here we go. Opelia, Opelia. So this is in Home and Bargain as well on the shelves. Like it's tap room and limited edition. It's quality beer. Must be good. The meek will inherit the air, hey folks. Craft beers for the pound. Alright, up hell yeah. Mm. Yeah. Sharp. Fruity. Very similar to the other one, but a bit more mangoey. A little bit more marmalade. <sighs> yeah. Oh, wow. These are cheap. These are on the shelf. Cheap. Limited edition. I've got two of these. I've got one, this one, one of these, and another one from the same company, which is another different can, which I'll probably drink tomorrow, or maybe after, I don't know. See how this goes down. Um, but wow, it tastes great. It tastes good quality. Lovely, refreshing mango flavour. Oh. I can't complain, it's nice. It's got that very delicate marshmallow flavour. Oh, I like that. It's nice. I like the colour as well. It looks that good. It looks really different. It's very clear. But it's very yellowy and it's got that pee pee look about it. Like, no, nod, nod, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, say no more. It's got that lovely pee pee look about it. <laughs> I don't know. I won't say anymore. Oh no, that's very tasty that's nice. Wow, getting the warmth off it. Ooh. I have had a can of beer before that like so I'm not really getting the kick straight away or not like that like. A smaller can. Mm. Alright, the cum shot. The foam goes away a little bit quicker. See the what the drinking man's cum shot? Yeah, I have to have a bevy to watch Liverpool live. I'm watching Everton at the moment. But oh. <laughs> made the noise. <laughs> oh man, wait some beer reviews, belch on the telly. It's mad it on YouTube. Like. Okay. Alright. Well that's smooth, it's like it's got that marmalade thing going on like. Mmm, that's good. Mm. It's warm. Mmm. Not bad at all. Wow. Home and bargain. Cheapy beers, man. Taproom Brewery, Peach Rock Pale.
Session Pale Ale. Brewed on the Maisie. To say there, <clears throat> one of a limited edition range of craft beers brewed exclusively for the tap room. One of a limited edition. That's number one. It says number one on it, so I take it that's the first one, and then they're gonna do a load of these little. Why is it appealing, Home and Bargain though? Quality beers in the cheapy shops, it's unbelievable. Alright. I'm not feeling well either, though, I've got to say. I'm feeling merry and. I shouldn't be throwing it down. What I'll do is, I've got some more of these. I'm going to carry on with these and I'll review the other one of these tomorrow or the day after, whenever. Like, I don't know. And I've got another beer to review as well, first time, just one of each. Like. But, yeah. That is alright. That is really good. I'll definitely give that a 9 out of 10 as well. I can't try loads of them, I've only got one of them, you see. So, that's a 9 out of 10 for me, folks. Highly recommend it. I thought people might have different tastes to me, like, but that's quality to me, that's nice. Very nice. Alright, I'm getting off. Home and Bargain. They're all over the place, Home and Bargains, aren't they? So, I think it's 99 pence a can. So, it's a good one, cheapy. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll finish this off and then um, chill out and watch Liverpool playing tonight against Hammer and Spurs tonight. Okay, thanks for watching. See you later.